Hello students, now we will start with new topic about mycota, means fungus. In case of protista, types of nutrition we have seen are, first one, heterotrophic, example is amoeba, Parasitic means by absorbing nutrients from the host. We see entamoeba, trypanosoma, etc. Next, autotrophic. Here we can see example paramecium. And also saprophytic. Example we see slime molds. Since in one group of Whittaker's Five Kingdom classification, we are seeing all different modes of nutrition. So we can use a term or a sentence here like that. Protista includes diverse group, nutritionally diverse group of organisms. So we can say Protista includes nutritionally Diverse means different group of organisms. So this is about protista. Next we will see about fungus. So fungus is studied under mycota. That is study of fungus. That is mycology. So here we read completely about fungus. So fungus or mycota, the terms are same. So what are characteristic features? First we have to remember that they are saprophytes. Cell wall is of chitin plus glycanes. Chitin is chemically composed of N acetyl glucose amine. Glycanes includes two deoxy glucoses. These two different types of compositions constitute the cell wall of fungus. They are Considered as close relatives to animals than to plants. So they do not have chlorophyll. So there is no chlorophyll. So since they are not uh, means uh, completely depending on other organism in the sense they are heterotrophs but under heterotrophs specially they are read as saprophytes. Fungus reproduction is both by sexual and asexual mode. Under asexual mode, we can see budding and fragmentation. Under budding, we can see example like yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Under fragmentation, we can see example like agaricus, that is mushrooms. Now, under sexual mode, of a reproduction, we see meiosis forms meiospores. Now, here there is no uh, means especially name for sexual mode of reproduction, but we can say sexual mode of reproduction is by plasmogamy. 
which is later followed by karyogamy later followed by meiosis so the process will be first plasmogamy this is followed by karyogamy this is followed by meiosis what is meant by plasmogamy fusion of protoplast of the chambers or the one hyphae or a part of hyphae fusion of protoplasm means whatever the nucleoplasm plus cytoplasm content life content of the hyphae karyogamy means fusion of nuclei meiosis means reduction division in which the diploid cell will undergo meiotic division to give haploid gametes we we'll say diagrammatically this is aseptate hyphae this will give mostly means asexual mode of reproduction by production of sporangiophores chlamydophores zoospores etc so mostly they exhibit asexual reproduction now if the hyphae is septate here one nucleus here one nucleus here one nucleus now another hyphae will try to fuse with this we can say this is a hyphae this is b hyphae in the next stage what happens the chamber of this hyphae the chamber of this hyphae they protrude towards each other and forms a connection like this now this connection will be digested and in the next stage here forms two nuclei containing one single chamber now this one is termed as this single one is termed as dikaryon dikaryon stage later these both will be fused that is karyogamy after formation leads it leads to zygote formation that zygote now undergoes meiosis to give out meiospores so dikaryon stage is seen in the sexual mode of reproduction during the meiospores formation now after meiosis after meiosis the structure formed are the spores formed are haploid and these are considered as single celled propagules single celled propagules why the term propagules because after formation of the spores those spores get separated from the parent body and they get dispersed to some other area along with the wind so such types of structures are called as propagules which get separated from the mother's body or the from the parent's body and get dispersed into some other area the spores spores are single cell haploid propagules now we can give other term for propagules as are vegetative forms they later gets separated from parent we will see some types of spores example are 
zoospores. Zoospores are motile spores. formed during asexual reproduction this is one of the previous mcq motile spores formed during asexual reproduction aplanospores non motile spores again formed during asexual reproduction another type of spores are chlamydospores these are of again zoospore type and also aplanospore type and also echinid forms why because basing on the conditions that are favorable or unfavorable the type of spores in case of chlamydomonas differs so can be of zoospores aplanospores or echinids now again spores formed during asexual reproduction sorry sexual reproduction r ascospores next basidiospores so ascospores are formed in sac fungi basidiospores are formed in club fungi we will see in detail about all these types during classification now we will see how the hyphae is formed from spores i said you spores on germination gives hyphae but this is not direct there are some stages here spores are considered as haploid structures they germinate to give if this is the spore it gives a thread like structure this is called as protonema this protonema is considered as juvenile form means newly formed one juvenile form it represents newly formed gametophyte or juvenile gametophyte so here we are see formation of protonema this protonema later develops into hyphae now one point regarding dicarion when during the uh, sexual reproduction when two different chambers of two different hyphae are fused they form dicarion stage so we can say if this is the dicarion with two nuclei means karyogamy did not happen just plasmogamy so dicarion this is after plasmogamy at this stage we can say it is also termed as heterokaryotic stage it means hetero means different so different nuclei from different hyphae chambers formed into one single cell with two nuclei so called as dicaryon so also called as heterokaryotic stage later this protonema develops into hyphae so from di dicaryon stage is formed later the spores so here we can see karyogamy happens one single uh, nuclei means zygote like structure later it will undergo meiosis and forms spores those spores on germination again gives rise to these type of structures